Hi everyone, my name is Miss Glover and I teach reading, language arts, and social studies. I'm going to talk to you about your home environment and what it should look like and feel like in order for you to be successful, especially during these next three weeks when we're all going to be learning virtually. So your home, no matter where you're going to be set up, whether it's at your kitchen table, your dining room table, maybe you're going to be in your bedroom, um, maybe you're going to be sharing a space with your parents who are working from home or your siblings. You need to make sure that you can give yourself a space that is going to allow you to work with very minimal distractions. Um, more than ever during a situation like this, you need to treat your schoolwork and being a student as if it's your job. So do what you can to make yourself successful. Have all your supplies ready. Have your devices charged. Um, make yourself a calendar. Write it down on a piece of notebook paper. Um, maybe print something off the computer. Maybe you actually have a calendar that you can use, but do what you can to make yourself very organized. Um, you're gonna need to put yourself on a schedule. Uh, your teachers will give you more information to let you know about when they will specifically be available as far as live meetings or times to reteach and cover something that maybe you were having trouble with. And so those are all things that you're going to have to be able to keep track of. Um, make sure that you're comfortable, you have a comfortable chair, you have a sweatshirt if you're cold. Um, Wear your comfy clothes since you're going to be at home. Do whatever you can to make yourself comfortable, not distracted, and ready to go every day. So luckily we had some practice with this during the spring, but this is going to be a little more structured. Um, the requirements are going to be different. Um, Ms. Bombax is going to talk to you about attendance and things like that. So make sure that you are getting up every day ready to go to school even though that you're at home and you're ready to accomplish your tasks and get them turned in in a timely manner but just remember that no matter what we're always going to be here to help you we're going to be here to answer questions um, just because we're not face to face right now does not mean that we are not a class and not a family we're going to make it through this together so good luck we're excited to get the school year started and we can't wait to see you face to face as soon as possible.